Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Vanessa. Today I'm just doing a all day clean with me video, hoping to get you motivated to complete all the tasks on your to-do list today. I am just running around my house cleaning all sorts of different things. Don't mind Elena here, she's just sitting next to me per usual. But I'm just doing all sorts of different things today in my house. Everything that I could get done in this one day. I usually don't like to go all out and clean like this on my days off because I don't really want to spend my day cleaning. But it's things that have to get done. So to start off my day, I just made the bed quickly because it just puts a good start to your day. Getting that bed made and making your room look nice is just a really good feeling and it's just a really good way to get the day started and get you motivated to keep on going with your daily tasks. While I was upstairs, I decided I would go into Elena's bathroom and just give that a quick clean. This bathroom doesn't get used a whole lot, um, as in like the toilet and the sink. The bath we use on a regular basis, obviously, but toilet and sink don't get used too often, but I still like to clean those because you know that every now and then that they do get used. Um, and just from sitting there as well, they get kind of gross. So I like to give that a nice good clean, probably about once a week, just like every other bathroom in my house. So I started off with the toilet using my Clorox toilet ones that I just purchased and love. So I am throwing away all of my toilet brushes in my house in every bathroom and replacing them with the Clorox toilet wand because it is so amazing and it cleans so well. Next, after that, I decided I would give Elena's bathtub a quick clean and then just wipe everything down using my Mrs. Meyers bathtub and tile cleaner. This leaves such a good smell and I feel like it cleans so well. It wipes everything off right away. So I really love using this product for Elena's bathtub. on to Elena's sink it is so easy to clean just because we don't keep anything on it really besides like her toothpaste and toothbrush and the hand soap so it's easy to just take everything off wipe everything down and then give it a nice quick wipe down with a Clorox wipe and just clean off the mirror since I had just finished cleaning Elena's bathroom, I figured I would just keep going and go downstairs and clean my downstairs bathroom. And I had not realized how long I had let this go. I'm not gonna lie, it was very needed. So I'm glad I started off with this downstairs. Again, I'm just using my Clorox wand to clean my bathroom downstairs. Well, the toilet downstairs anyways and then wiping everything down with Clorox wipes and then after that just moving on to my sink.
Once I was finished in my bathroom, I decided to go ahead and wash my dishes. But first, almost every single time that I wash dishes, I clean out the sink where I'm going to let my dishes dry because I have a really bad habit of just leaving all the dishes in there. So I like to have a nice clean sink before I do that and I just use my Mrs. Meyers um, baking powder like cream for it and then I just brush it really well and then rinse that sink off. And then I just go ahead and move on to washing all of my dishes. That way I don't feel too bad about just letting them dry there. No, I don't even know how to feel it. And just how I begin, I like to end by scrubbing down my sink where all the dirty dishes were in, especially because all the dirty dishes do go in this side of the sink. All sorts of gross things get stuck to it, so I like to make sure that that one is all scrubbed down and nice and clean. Once my dishes were all done, I moved on to my dining table. I had just received my grow package the day before, and I had just taken everything out of the box and left it on the table. I did order the acorn spice that's new this year in the multi-surface spray and also the apple cider. I have now tried the acorn spice, the pumpkin, and apple cider and I will say that by far my favorite set is the apple cider. I feel like that one is just exactly the way that fall is supposed to smell. The other two pumpkin is just a little, I don't know, it's a little bit too much pumpkin for me and the acorn spice just smells weird. Like, I, you smell that and I do not think fall. I don't really like that one very much at all and now I'm kind of upset that I have it and I have to use it. But apple cider is the best, so if you have not tried those, you definitely should give them a try. I use the multi-surface spray for all sorts of things in my house and I love them. Moving on to my kitchen island. This island is just the catch-all for everything. It's where everything gets set. And then I always have to go around looking for places where to put things. That little pink box that you see is from Crumble. This place sells the best cookies ever and they're like the size of your face. They're so good. And whenever we buy them, we buy them in a box of four and then we just kind of cut them in half and eat them over several days, but they are delicious. Next on my cleaning to-do list was my stove. For my stove, I do have a heavy duty degreaser from Method that I purchased and I did not like. You leave it on for five minutes before you wipe everything down and I feel like, I mean, it doesn't really do a whole lot. And so since I had just received my apple cider multi-surface spray, I decided to go ahead and use that. And I feel like it does a much better job than that heavy duty degreaser does. And it also makes everything smell so good, which is a huge plus. And then for my countertops, I used to use my multi-surface spray, but then I got the Daily Granite Cleaner by Method, and it smells so good, and it makes my granite just look super nice and shiny. So I have been using that now for a few weeks, and I absolutely love it. Then this is something that I had been wanting to get done for a while now. I just hadn't made the time for it, 
but I really needed to clean my cabinets, especially the ones above my stove because it, they are directly above my stove. They do get greasy, they get sticky, the dust accumulates on them. You can't really tell from afar, but once you get up close, you can definitely see all the grossness on my cabinets, especially because they are white. So I just needed to do a wipe down of those and for that I just used my multi-surface spray with a microfiber cloth to get that all nice and clean and looking like new again. And the last thing that I had time for before I had to get dinner going and right before Elena woke up from her nap was wiping my blinds. I have been using my tool that I found at TJ Maxx that I showed in my previous video and it just works wonders. I just spray a little bit of the multi-surface spray on the tool and then wipe everything down and it gets everything a really good clean on those blinds, especially because they do get dusty. Then finally, when I was able to get back going on my little cleaning spree, I continued on wiping down the cabinets on my kitchen island and then everything else um, down below. This morning while I was making breakfast, I was looking at my cabinets and I was just so amazed at the difference that a really good clean on those makes. They just look so much brighter now and it just makes me so happy to look at them. While I was down there, I decided to give my dishwasher a good cleaning because there were lots of little handprints on there. So I wiped that down quickly and then watching this back, I realized that I totally forgot to go and wipe my refrigerator, but that's okay. It'll get done another time. Now for the reason why I put up all of my chairs on the table and the island is because I needed to really mop this floor. Earlier as I was washing dishes, uh, Bryant, my husband, he went through and swept the whole floor. Unfortunately, our Roomba is just not wanting to charge. So while Bryant tries to figure what is going on, we're just sweeping and vacuuming for now. But he went through, swept everything, and then this evening I just went and mopped my floors. I hadn't mopped my floors in a while because I had run out of my cleaner for my floors and I just kept forgetting to order some. So I finally got it now that I have my Grove order and I was able to give my floors a nice good cleaning. Then I moved on into my living room and I had just given Elena some goldfish earlier in the day as a snack and of course they got all over the couch. So I decided that it was probably time to give them a good vacuuming. So I went through and did that and just vacuuming your couches makes such a huge difference on them and they just feel all nice and clean the next time that you sit on them. So I went through, did that, placed all my pillows back in order, and then finally just vacuumed up the living room.
finally, after a very long, very exhausting day of cleaning, I just finished up by putting all of my chairs back down and just making everything look put together again. And of course, I had to treat myself to a glass of wine so I could relax and unwind for the day. I hope this video gave you all the motivation you needed to do all of your daily chores. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.